time for Agatha's ritual. The moon can't get any more right. Are you ready? Are you? I'm prepared as I can be. And I'll have some additional help. Who? Agatha asked me to recruit a few of the others. How many people will be joining us? All the Midnight Suns, Doctor Strange, and Logan overheard me talking with Nico and decided to come along. He believed you? He said, I've seen weirder stuff in my day. But he used another word for stuff. It is hard to believe everyone just agreed to this. Agatha had me tell them what only she could have known. Except Strange, he came without question. He had a twinkle in his eye, as though he already knew. We should go. I'll lead the way. Keeping secrets, eh? <laughs> That's Agatha for you. Between you and me, I knew she wasn't really gone. How so? Agatha always had a backup plan. I used to say she could cheat death at cards. Never thought I'd be right. Ah, Hunter! My anticipation for this moment was boundless. You knew about her ghost? I sensed her energy, and I knew she wasn't a hostile spirit. Why did you not say anything? I could always trust Agatha to have an elaborate plan. I surmised she would enact it when necessary. And so she has. Don't know how this is possible, but I'm not surprised. Why not? You and Wanda working together. What can't you do? That's not an expression. If I wake up tomorrow and there's a second moon in the sky, I'll assume it has something to do with you two. This is it. Hunter, I never asked. Are you all right with this? I know it is what you want, but this might be the last time we speak. I thought the last time we'd ever speak was three centuries ago. The chance to spend time with you again. I am so lucky and so proud. If this doesn't work, please don't let Sarah know. She shouldn't have to lose me again. I understand. But it will work. Wanda knows what she's doing. I believe in her. In all of you. Besides, I'm Agatha Harkness. The world won't be rid of me till I'm ready to go. So, here we are. I cannot wait to see Agatha again, and for Wanda to bring her back. She told me she could never have done this without you. Once again, you help Wanda restore herself. You are good for her. Not everyone has that when the world around you is bleak. Thanks, Magic. What are friends for? That was not rhetorical. Sometimes I wonder. So, I'm a little pissed at you. I could not tell anyone about Agatha. Ugh, not that. Here, I was thinking you and Wanda were gonna be a thing, but no, that was all a ruse. Anything is possible. We're about to restore the spirit of Agatha Harkness, so I guess you're right. Hey, Hunter. Thanks for doing, uh, all of this. Do you know what we are doing? No idea. So, why are you here? Why else? To support you and Wanda. Oh, and Agatha too. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. Of course. 
When Agatha's back, she'll want to see some familiar faces. Happy to be one of them. Everyone's here. We're almost ready to begin. What else do we need? The braziers indicate the ritual boundary. Once you light them, we can begin. What do they have to do with the ritual? They mark the ritual space. As long as nothing crosses the boundary, we should be fine. And if something goes wrong, we'll be fine. They'll contain whatever goes wrong. I will be right back. I just keep going over it again and again in my head. I hate to say it, but you probably won't ever make sense of it. Bad guys do bad things. big, I guess. This excitement has really gotten me thinking about forming a team of my own. Spider-Man and his astonishing pals. His...
I think you're just spinning your wheels at this point, Cap. I could say the same thing to you, Cody. Still planning your revenge on Banner? I'm not trying to get revenge on anyone. I'm just trying to get him back. Get him back?
I'm a little out of sorts. Of... I hope that punching this bag will help clear my head. You know, this Rumlow thing has really thrown me for a loop. I didn't expect that. Your instincts are correct. Crossbones summoned you there for a reason. You were manipulated. Whether for good or ill intent remains to be seen. Rumlow's no Boy Scout. He didn't give the data drive just to be nice. But then again, he seems to understand the threat Lilith poses. If you need to talk things through... I'm a little talked out to tell you the truth. I think I just need to keep punching until my head clears up. How long do you think that will take? Until I run out of punches. Just breathe. Keep it steady. You kept civilians out of carnage. Nice work. Eddie and I go back a long ways. If you think the gaping razor-toothed jaw and oozing homicidal skin are bad, you should have read his bylines. Come along, Charlie. <coughs> what is it, Charlie? Find something? Good girl, Charlie. Wait here, girl. Charlie, heal. How can I help?
time for Agatha's... Hey, Hunter, thanks for doing... <laughs> so, I'm a little pissed at you. I could not tell anyone about Agatha. Uh, not that. Here, I was thinking you and Wanda were gonna be a thing, but no, that was all a ruse. Anything is possible. We're about to restore the spirit of Agatha Harkness, so I guess you're right. Fires are lit. Any last words before we begin? Once we start, there's no going back. I will talk to the others. If you haven't spoken with Agatha yet, you should. Just in case. Shall we begin the ritual? I need a moment. All right. Shall we begin the ritual? Let us begin. What do you need me to do? Stand back and make sure nothing disturbs us. The Grey Seneschal is a finicky ritual. Agatha Harkness, can you hear me? I can. The Grey Seneschal extends a hand. Shall you take it, knowing it may lead to your destruction? I shall. Do you willingly sever your bond to this world, knowing it may lead to your dissolution? I do. And will you open yourself to the Grey Seneschal, knowing it may lead to your possession? I will. Spoken, witnessed, and sealed. I can, I will now begin. Steady, Wanda. I call upon the Grey Seneschal. Seize the spirit of Agatha Harkness and deliver her into this world. It's her. Oh, I can see her. I can see... Agatha? Sarah, wait. She did not want you to find out like this. How are you here? I couldn't find a keepsake. A simple spell said it was here. The locket. Wanda stole it. 
I nearly caught her outside my room, didn't I? We did what Agatha asked of us. Asked? Why would you pull her back from her final rest? You should know better. Sarah... She never left the Abbey. She has been here for months. Then what are you? The Grey Seneschal. I won't let you do this to her! Sarah, wait! Wanda will destroy her again! Sarah, no! What have you done to her? Nothing worse than what you've done, Sarah. Agatha? You were the worst thing to happen to me. Oh, how I loathed our time together. It took death to finally free me of your insipid- This isn't Agatha. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Hello, sweetling. Mephisto. Release Agatha. We have no quarrel with you. I have quarrel with him. You want me to simply give you this withered ecto-puppet? Come now. Someone must know how this works. It's always the same with you. The devil is here, and he's ready to bargain. Ah, the hairy little creature remembers how it works. No bargains. Release Agatha. Right now. No, no, no. I'm willing to make a simple trade. Give me Iliana, and you can have this faded rag in the spirit. Do you think I would ever trust you with anything? Still touch it from our last encounter. Unlike some of you here, I honor all bargains I strike to the letter. I thought you were the true power here. But if you have no hold over the Queen of Limbo, you're as useless to me as this wizened phantasm. Wait, I will speak with Ileana. Good, good. But don't take too long. If you delay, I'll melt this shriveled spirit. There is little to say. Ileana, I am just stalling for... Shush. There is little to say, because I know how to push him out. What is the plan? If I banish him directly, he takes her with him. But if I channel my power through someone close to Agatha... Wham! Sucker punch! He loses control, I banish him, and Agatha stays behind. Then why have you not done it already? Channeling my power through a person causes lasting injury. I do not know who should bear this suffering. Everyone is here to support Agatha. Channel through all of us. That could work. And I could hit him from multiple angles. Give me the signal when you're ready. Enough deliberation. Do we have a bomb? Magic, what do we say to the devil? We say... The devil can go to hell! Agatha? Sarah, you can hear me? And see you. What, no kiss? And that's how I know it's you. What you've done here, to bring everyone together, it's... It's not enough. I've never been more delighted to tell you how wrong you are. This is so much better than we'd expected. We just need to finish it. We? Does that mean you'll stay and help? You thought I did all this to say goodbye? Oh, Sarah, you're hopeless. Not anymore. 
Look at that. Hunter, would you mind walking with me? They deserve some privacy. Indeed. Agatha's back. It worked. Wanda, this was all you. No, this wouldn't have happened without you. We pushed each other and look at what we achieved. So what now? We should let them catch up. Agreed. See you tomorrow. I'm going to bed and don't plan to set an alarm. Hunter, if you're awake, come to Central. I need to show you something. Ready for more? I spent some time decrypting the data drive Crossbones gave to Cap. I hope it gave us good information on Hydra. He gave us good intelligence, all right. But it's not about Hydra. It's about us. Take a look. He had files on all of us. Cap, me, Stark, Blade, Magic, Nico, everyone. Strengths, weaknesses. Mostly weaknesses. This is detailed information. Whatever they were paying Crossbones, they certainly got their money's worth. I hope we have information this detailed on Hydra and its agents. We have files, but nothing like this. The observations here are beyond extensive. Captain Marvel's trackable online activity indicates an unhealthy interest in cat videos. If I ever get cornered, I better have a cat handy to take hostage. He was sick. This isn't even all of it. There's a whole other section, but I can't access it. More encryption? Multiple layers of it. I could probably get it, but it'll take me a while. Cap could make this go a lot quicker. Where is he? I'm surprised he is not going over these files with you. He was with me when we first unlocked the drive. He was already agitated from Crossbones' death, but I think seeing what he had on us really set him off. He excused himself in a hurry. Now I need him back. Cap does not seem like the type to be easily flustered. Maybe it is best if we give him some time. Normally, I'd agree with you, but time isn't exactly a luxury we have these days. If there's anything we can use on this drive, we have to know what it is immediately. Was there... anything about me on that drive? Strangely, no. Not a word. Odd. I'll keep trying to break this code while you find Cap.
Hey, a hunter. Sentinel will crack the code. Fascinating info here. And by fascinating, I mean I want to blast these creeps to the moon. This should keep someone busy. Stay out of trouble. Hunter, got any concern? Steve, Carol needs your help decrypting Crossbones' files. <laughs> it figures she'd send you. Did she tell you I want nothing to do with it? Because I still don't. Tell me why this is a problem. It was something Crossbones said. The old man. He was talking about my greatest enemy. Who? The Red Skull commanded Hydra during the war. Obsessed with the occult. You think the Red Skull had something to do with those files? I'm certain. One file is called Project Gutmorder, a classic name for a Red Skull terror weapon. Rumlow wants, wanted, me to use the tools of my oldest enemy to defeat the newest. I won't give him the satisfaction. Steve, we need to know what that file says. Information from any source is valid if it helps us defeat Lilith. A tool is just a tool justifies so many terrible outcomes. I won't be part of anything cooked up by the Red Skull. That is not your call to make. You helped put me in charge? Now trust me to do my job. Well, I guess you have been paying attention. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, huh? <sighs> I'll talk to Carol and do what I can. Thanks for helping me work through this, Hunter. Of course. Sometimes, I even impress myself. The latest advancements from the mind of genius Tony Stark, and they're all for you. Here if you need me. They put her in shackles and dragged her to the courthouse. Sure, they were going to take the torch to her, or the noose. 
but Agatha's not the kind of person. Perhaps Agatha and Sarah may yet forgive me. But first, I must forgive myself. No, she's not. So, how did she get out of being another victim of the wild imaginations of superstitious villagers? She stood obstinately, brows furrowed, and declared, Who do you think you are to accuse Agatha Harkness of being a witch? She denied being a witch? Sarah's giving you the polite version. Agatha wasn't stingy with a profanity. I think she even made the judge cry. So she, uh, cursed her way out of it? More like hexed. When she left the courthouse that day, I believe most of the local magistrates were toads. I'm pretty sure they were always toads. As I remember it, the charges were dropped against her because she had one hell of a good lawyer. Threatened to sue him if they dared to put another witch on trial. And they never did. A reminder that we are never truly alone. You're not far from a Hydra data drop used by their field operatives. A potentially valuable source of new intel on their movements. Forever in service! Mother protect us! on those consoles, it will do the hard work for us. Assuming we can keep Hydra from blowing up the server first. Got it!
Strength of Chaos Energy. You're mine. You will regret ever facing me. Everything according to plan. Welcome assistance. Lilith's disciples have come in many forms. Do not bother running. Their strongest is no match for us. They're not 
given up yet. Just say the word. If you let them destroy that server, all of our work here is meaningless. Be good. I saw a move like that once centuries ago. Stronger than it looks, otherwise, you're in trouble. You've recovered the data. Excellent work out there. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? This is some of my best work. Clear your mind, and just... I want to talk to you about Steve. Uh-oh. What did he do? Huh? Nothing. I actually like him. If you like him so much, maybe you should ask him out. Ugh, Hunter, you sound like we're in elementary school. I like Steve as a friend only. Don't make it weird. 
He's one of the good ones. Just don't go around telling everyone. Don't tell me. Red Skull's plans for Wendigore Monorail. Close. Red Skull dug them back in World War II, but where they go, well, we're not sure. Yet. There are some hints in Crossbones' data that a few of the tunnels might even be older. How much do we trust Crossbones' data? I trust it enough to investigate and launch reconnaissance. Up for a little smash and grab, Logan? Ah, I see where this is going. It's a cannonball special. Except that you're throwing me at a whole mountain. We know you're strong enough to take it. Want in on the action, Steve? Negative. I need to poke around Crossbones' hard drive. There's still encryption I can't crack. Maybe it's spicy love letters from Crossbones to Sin? She's Red Skull's daughter or granddaughter or something. Anyone sharing a family tree with Red Skull is bad news. Dating Crossbones is proof of that pudding. That's right. I wonder what kind of murder sonnets those two deranged lovebirds wrote to each other. But while it would make some titillating nightmare fuel, we have bigger fish to fry. And it's a big old doozy of a fish. Something called Project Gottmorder. Based on my limited German, that sounds promising. Agreed. Only it could be nothing. Red Skull dulled out 